Chapter 5. What Abby Said Abby was only in kindergarten back then, back when I was in second grade. Even so, Abby wasn't stupid like a lot of little kids are. I'd never tell her this, but Abby's okay to talk to sometimes. You know, for a sister, I mean, since I don't have a dog or anything, Abby's kind of like a pet who can talk. Sort of like a parrot, I guess. Anyway, I told Abby I was sorry. It's okay, she said. See what I mean? How Abby's kind of like a pet? You know how if you yell at a dog, it gets all scared of you or maybe mad? but then you pat it on the head and it starts wagging its tail again. That's the way Abby is. She was still watching the puppets. They were painting some clouds on a wall, really dumb. Then I told Abby about Link. And Abby said, his sister came to school today, Linda Baxter. She's in kindergarten with me. She's a bully too. I said, really? Yes, said Abby. Linda took Sarah's crayons, I saw. Abby started moving her arms like the puppets. I said, so she took Sarah's crayons? Abby nodded, only half listening. Yes, the best colors. Linda said, if you tell, I'll break them. At snack time, Sarah gave Linda a Ritz cracker. Then Linda let Sarah use the yellow crayon. So there it was, the case of the kidnapped crayons. And I said to myself, Linda Baxter is only in kindergarten. Link's baby sister is already a super bully. And then I thought, imagine what her big brother is going to do to me. Not a good thought. Abby kept watching the puppets. The show was almost over. The puppets were starting to sing. It's the part of the show that almost makes me throw up. Then I remembered something. I remembered going to visit Grandma and Grandpa in Florida. It was just me and Abby. And I was mad because I always had to do everything with Abby. She was just four. She was still in nursery school. And I was already a big first grader. I hated hanging around with such a baby. I was mean to Abby the whole time. So I said, remember how I was mean to you when we went to Florida? Abby was nodding to the music, but she said, I remember. And I said, how come you didn't get mad at me? Abby shrugged. If I get mad, I feel mean. I don't like to feel mean, so I don't get mad. Then Abby started to sing along with the puppets. I did not want to throw up, so I went to my room. I flopped onto my bed so I could think about my problems. Part of me wished I could get a ride to school with Dad every morning. Then I wouldn't have to ride the bus with Link. And maybe I could go to the library for recess. And then mom could pick me up after school. Part of me wished I would grow 10 inches in one night. Then tomorrow morning, I would get on the bus. I would sit next to Link. I would push his face against the window. I would paint his nose with a red magic marker. I would call him Fink, Fink Baxter. But I kept thinking, and Abby was right. It's not fun to feel mean. Link acted like it was fun, but it wasn't really, was it? No, it couldn't be. As I went to sleep that night, here's what I said to myself. Tomorrow, I will not get mad at Link, no matter what. Then he will see that it's not fun to be mean. It worked for Abby and me. But would it work for a super bully?